2017 is the meeting of the Council on Aging. Um, we would like to state that the chairman, Patrick Blake, um, is not feeling well today, so we'll, he's going to excuse the absence for attending the meeting. Um, first on the agenda is to review the minutes from the September meeting. I believe everybody has those in front of them. Everyone have a chance to look them through, see if there's any... I don't have one. Do you have an extra one? Corrections yeah, that need to be done? Yeah, just one you do. Thank you. Was this open October 1st? Yeah. Was this open? Yes. Uh, I came down here too, walking around. I didn't know yeah, that. yep, they were down here having a <coughs> sale. They had the street blacked off with we had yeah, a band. Very busy here. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. I was yeah. down here walking. Yeah. I didn't yeah. see anybody. We had a big flea market down here. Yeah, yeah there were quite a few people yeah. when yeah. I came. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I bought some bread dough and brought it home. That stuff is awesome. Oh. Yeah. Who sells that? Fried bread dough. But there it is. It's right at the by the package store. Oh, dough. fried dough. Fried dough. Fried dough. Everyone have a chance to review them? Mm. Any changes? Mm -hmm. They look okay. Make a motion we accept. Motion Second. made. Second. Motion made by Jen. Seconded by Rita. All in favor? All right. Minutes approved. Next thing on the agenda is the report of the bills and vouchers signed and submitted. Uh, we bought one more steamer table. We had bought a tremendous one um, that holds four of the chafing dishes, but we served a tremendous amount of food. So we needed a, an extra one, so we bought one side, one side one, which we needed for Smile Day. Um, so we bought that, we paid the phone bill, and we paid all the exercise classes with the grant, which would be the Tai Chi, the Yoga, and the Zumba. And that was pretty much it. Very good. All right, program stats for September. Um, we had 406 people. We had a very busy month. Um, we had 360 last year, so we're right on target. We've had a lot of new um, people come in mm -hmm. to join our exercise classes, and people come in to do one thing, and then they manage to stay for other things. So it's been uh, very beneficial. I think we had 15 new people in September, and we've seen a lot of new faces already this mm -hmm. month. So yeah. when you guys are open at night and when... Um, like when they do the Oktoberfest, people come in and they actually see what it's about. Uh -huh. you know, we've had a lot of people just kind of come in off the street or people have moved in with <coughs> their children in town, so they're taking the bus and Now you find more us. people are coming back <coughs> you know, that summer season is, oh, right. you oh. know, the hot weather is and now. Yeah, our summer, summer stats were really bad this year. Um, in July of 2016, we had 359 people. This year we had 260. Last August we had 362, this year we had 310. Um, so to be up that far in September shows that yeah. we've got mm -hmm. new membership, but we've also got cooler temperatures. Uh, upcoming events. We have, we had our Smile Day, which was very successful. We had 60 people. Um, the town administrator got to come and um, enjoy our show. We had a nice lunch that BBT um, cooked, and everybody had a good time. The comedian was, was very well received. Mm -hmm. um, we did a book club uh, luncheon with Ellie Chesbro and Justin Schnook from the library last 
Wednesday that everybody likes, so we'll be continuing that monthly. And we had a nice lunch, and tomorrow we're going to be doing the movie that goes with the book, and we'll be having lunch. And um, we also had W, uh, the Worcester Community Action Council come in, and they did fuel assistance on the 11th and on the 25th. So having people come in to do their fuel assistance, they also get to see what the senior center's about. Um, and we've had a couple of people join just from that. And on the 31st, we have our Roaring Twenties themed Halloween party. Um, we're going to be having lasagna. It did say stuffed chicken, but we changed the menu because we had the stuffed chicken for Smile Day. And um, BBT will also be catering that. And we're going to have Jack Radcliffe, who is a beautiful musician, to come in and do some nice music for us. So the show is free. It's being sponsored by the uh, Cultural Council. And the meal is $7 if anybody would like to eat. Or you can bring your own lunch. Great. <coughs> the AC gift account. Um, is up to seven thousand two hundred and twenty dollars as of today mm -hmm. and I know that the Sunshine Club has some more money that they're going to be donating to it from the October fast and from some various raffles and from the big fundraiser on November 4th with the ventriloquist at the Soko Club tickets are on sale now for that um, you can get them from PM or any of the Sunshine Club members or you can call the senior center for more information and we'll connect you with with who to call um, they're ten dollars. You must be eighteen years or older. All right. So they've been really <coughs> doing well with the fundraising. Yes, uh -huh. so we're very hard. That um, raffle coming up on the uh, Christmas wreath. Oh yes, they added a new raffle today. Mm -hmm. If you saw it in the main room, there's a trifold out there with some um, beautiful Christmas wreaths, and um, they were donated by a friend of Pam's whose mm -hmm. mother had passed away, mm -hmm. and she was a super crafter. And they are exceptional. So, they're going to be doing raffles at the um, ventriloquist. They will be doing, I believe, a fifty-fifty and the blanket. I think that's all that mm -hmm. they're bringing there the at that time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The air conditioning estimates. This is hunts and chunks. I'm having a horrible allergy attack right now. I have no idea why. All right. We received an estimate back in 2015 from. AC, ASC, um, and they were going to be putting in this big system. It was about fourteen thousand seven hundred dollars. They're going to be knocking wall. Up, up <laughs> they were going to be going through a brick, putting mm -hmm. in a condenser, and all kinds of stuff with a three-ton mini split for the main area, and then a couple of other ones. Um, and they were going to hang wall units in every room. And we thought that would be, you know, okay, whatever. You know that's their job so mm -hmm. they came in and gave us the estimate um, because the estimate was two years old we decided to add a couple thousand dollars to it so we'd have the buffer in case they ran into a problem going through the brick or mm -hmm. anything else or if parts went up or labor um, so we were going to go before capital so that's where we came, came up with the the sixteen thousand dollar price yeah we were going to go before ca you know go to capital ask the capital committee this is how this is the process we're doing um, sunshine club is um, raising money for the air condition. This is how much they've raised so far. Um, we're looking to see if the town <coughs> could pay half of the air condition unit. Mm -hmm. um, when we decided we were going to go before capital, we said we should go and get another um, An estimate, updated, updated estimate since this one was um, a few years old. So with that being said, they had a, estimate. right. They had a new um, person now that's doing the estimates who came in and said that having that many units in here would be too cold. I mean, it is a basement, yeah. it gets very mm -hmm. humid, it does have a lot of people in here and it gets hot. But that all being said, we could do everything with one ductless condenser out in the main room and then a dehumidification system throughout the back. Mm -hmm. We really are concerned with the main room more than any other mm -hmm. room. We do have ceiling fans, <coughs> so air, of course, rises, but you can push it back down and it, it will flow through. Mm -hmm. So um, the new estimate, with just the one condenser, and the split system, putting it on the wall, not blowing through the cement or any of that, is only $8,700. Wow. So that wow. being said, we we're like, that's a considerable amount of difference. So we did go before capital, just we to did, say. Well, we did get um, two more quotes. Right. Because now that one was considerably low. Right. We're saying, okay, um, we should put get a couple more bids to see, you know, just to make sure where they're at as far as right. price-wise with what we were looking for. So we contacted, so ACS who did the, ASC who did the first one came out and did the second one and gave us the $8,700 figure. 
plus any taxes or anything else. The, um, we had Renaud come out um, from Sutton. They also gave us an estimate for $8,020 and they'd be putting in pretty much the exact same system, just a different brand of system. Then we had Socius come out, and they gave us an estimate for 6,800. The only difference is that Renaud was going with a 36,000 BTU wall evaporator, for whatever that means, and Socius was going with 3,600 as a mini split with a uh, system that we did look up, and it didn't seem like it was really a it's popular system. Enough. Well, that, and we're not sure that we could get parts for it, how long this company yeah. is going to be around mm -hmm. that, they're, that they're going with for the system, whereas Renaud was going with all Mitsubishi, who's oh. been around for yeah. Oh, yeah. ever. So yeah. that being said, before we did anything else, I did speak to um, Adam, our maintenance manager, who was here for every estimate, <clears throat> and has been on board um, you know, with the, with the air conditioning. And he met individually with each one of these people that came in and did the estimates because so, he would know more about the system than I would yeah. to be able to see what exactly it was they were going to do and did a lot of research on each of these the um, products and felt that the Mitsubishi was going to be the best one, had a good warranty, it's got a good track record. He did a lot of research on that. And their price was 8020 So for the difference of the, like, Eleven or twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. To have a system that you know we felt was more reputable and would be easier to maintain, and they you know so she's right up the street, you know they they deal with our heating and these guys are right in Sutton, so we kind of felt that was probably the way to go. And I did discuss it with the Sunshine Club and with um, the co-chairs, and they agreed that it was worth the extra little bit of money to have the better system. Mm -hmm. right. so, yeah. so with that, yeah. once we got all three estimates, we did go before capital, and we actually withdrew our um, request for the town to pay for half of it, since the Sunshine Club did raise so much of the money. Right. We were still going to have the ventriloquist coming, and we figured right. that the would Sunshine Club would be able to receive all the donations to purchase, the yeah. Yeah. to purchase the you know the air conditioning oh, unit. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we're not going to be asking yeah. the town yeah. for any money for this. It was Wonder based on the wonderful people that did the donations oh. and yep. the hard work of the Sunshine Club. Mm -hmm. So it looks like um, the generosity of the businesses. Right, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, so it looks like it would be the Renaud one in the, mm -hmm. the senior center is going to get air conditioning. Yes. 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 So we won't be sweating to Zumba next year. We won't be sweltering over lunch. And I, I, real, I really think that our numbers are going to be right back up where they were because last year was not as hot as this year. Right. It was more muggy mm -hmm. this year. It was yeah. just yeah. It, yeah. And we had that awful in June. It yes. was, nobody wanted to leave the house because it, all we had was pouring rain. Right. right. And then when it wasn't raining, it was 90 plus muggy. degrees. Right. And humid. Right. So and I, I know <laughs> a few people had said as far as the air conditioning goes, because there's the exercise room that's out here, they wanted to make sure that the unit would still cover the exercise room because obviously mm -hmm. you know people are working out and they did say that it would yeah it, would the, out there. the air know, will flow low, through every, every area, area because with you the exception of my back office right but we have cooling towers yes. and I'm in there on Fridays you know it's not and it's it's back there and it's closed up most of the time so I'm not worried about it um, you know I, I think that in our exercise class has grown so tremendously that I don't think they're gonna be in that room yeah. much longer <laughs> we've had to now put them out into yeah. the main room so it's mm -hmm. kind of fun shuffling everybody from day to day and mm -hmm. 12 tables and 60 chairs. <laughs> the yoga has gotten bigger. Yoga, yoga went from like five or six regulars to what we had 15 last week and two yeah. were missing. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and well, osteo, well, is, right. osteo is yeah. on its way out to the main room, but we can't put them out in the main room on Mondays because yeah. we have Pam's painting mm -hmm. class out there. So it's, it's a lot of shuffling. How about that exercise? You still have the... Uh, the yeah. Well, I came down here Zumba. a couple of times and they had yep. the dance and whatever yep. they were doing. Oh, that would be Zumba on Tuesdays. quite a few people yeah. there. Yeah. That yeah. takes a really big impact during the summer <coughs> because that is a very high impact kind yeah. of exercise. <coughs> and when it's hot in here, oh, oh, Marty oh, knows. Oh, it was awful. Yeah. It was awful. You yeah. just, you can't yeah. even. So when yeah. you get into July yeah. and August, the ladies yeah. are out there sweating. <laughs> so, and they're turning up the fans higher. I'm like, they're as high as they can go. Um, so, and once those rooms get warmed up, 
they hold their heat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, once it gets warm. Yeah. Yeah. So unfortunately, Smile Day um, was warm this year. We had had that little heat wave that week, and the humidity was up. That was, but um, hopefully that will be our last huge event without air conditioning in the summertime where it's tropical. So when are they planning on putting it? So I think Saturday, what we'll probably yeah. do is um, start it in March. They'll come out and they'll do it, you know, on the Friday or Thursday afternoon or whatever. And um, let the system run for a little bit, make sure all the kinks are, you know, out of it. So when we get it up and running, which is usually about the first week in June, it gets mm -hmm. hot in here. Um, we should be all set. So Great. hopefully, but I can't thank the Sunshine Club enough. All you guys did mm -hmm. such and a tremendous, work. tremendous yeah. job. Huge. Mm -hmm. Oh, Huge. raffles and 50-50s and suppers. And it takes a lot to pull mm -hmm. off the events that they do. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, the the tables tables too. and the tables and the knitters and the crocheters. Yeah, yeah. And it's just um, tremendous. The time for all the mailings. Oh, all, right. All the mailings, all mm -hmm. the thank you notes mm -hmm. they had to go out. They, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. they really came forward. And How is Ronnie doing? Very good. It seems people walking pretty good now. Yeah. What is this? Okay. Yeah. All right. So next on the agenda is the new <coughs> per diem employee. It's not a new employee. What we have now is we have Cheryl who covers for um, my vacation, sick days, Sandy's vacation, sick days. The senior center is so tremendously busy, you couldn't possibly have one employee in here. And um, especially on a day of an event. And you can't even have two employees on a day of an event. So now, usually if we have a big, big event, we'll have me, Sandy, and um, Cheryl. Cheryl um, has been here, oh gosh, three, three plus mm -hmm. years. Her husband is gonna be retiring. So they'll be spending a little bit more time traveling. So Cheryl still wants to be a part of the senior center, um, but feels at this time that she can't be as last minute as she'd need to be, or as well planned if she's gonna spend a month away during the winter or anything else. So the position is already budgeted for in the grant and it's already budgeted for in the town to cover this this amount of time block. It's now having the person to be able to cover it. So we're gonna add another per diem to cover when Cheryl can't cover. Mm -hmm. So the position could be two hours to 20 hours a month, depending on what's going on in that particular month. And um, I'm hoping that um, I won't have to cut any per diem hours because Cheryl's main job was in charge of the statistics. We don't have a scan system like everybody else does, so everything has to be hand counted. And that takes a tremendous amount of time because you have to do one for me, then one has to be done for the state, and the state is very specific as to who was here, how many times that one person was here, and how many new people, and how many new programs. So it's, it's I mean, it's, it's just <coughs> hundreds of lines of questions. And so um, being so busy during the day, and Sandy only works 19 hours a week, there's just no way to do all of that. So we were getting like months and months and months behind. So once, um, you know, Sandy got caught up, she taught Cheryl how to do it, and that's Cheryl's main focus. For like five hours a month, she will just sit and compile from month to month every, every yeah. bit of data. So um, that was paid for by the grant. I still do not have the grant yet, which was really due in July, but they haven't given it to us yet. I did get an email today, and I did speak to Emmett, um, who's the director of elder services at the state level, who said that we will be getting the grant. We're not sure how much. They have been using statistics from 2010. So we had 1,080 seniors in 2010. We're well up over 1,600 now. So what they did was instead of giving us $8 a senior based on 1,600 seniors, they're giving us $8 a senior based on 10,080. So now every year for the last three years, instead of upping the amount of seniors that we have in town, because I mean other towns that are bigger could have a growth of 5,000 in a year, they've upped the dollar amount. So they went from $8 in 2013 to $9 in 14 and in 15 and 16. Oh. Then they last year they went to $10. So what they're doing is they've been fighting with the governor all these months, that's why we don't have the grant to write yet, to be able to say, look at, you know, we got to give more money if you're going to be going from a census that had was seven or eight years ago. We're in fiscal year now. So um, they hope to give us $11. Now, if we get $11 a senior, I will be able to keep Cheryl doing the statistics and because um, she's, she's written in the grant. And I will also be able to keep all the exercise classes that I've been agonizing and trying to figure out which one I'm going to cut. Because now they've all become so popular that there isn't one that's shining more than another at this point. So, and I don't want to have to make any cuts. I mean, the, the exercise programs 
are really full because seniors realize being fit is very important for the mind and the body and for everything else and they're on a very fixed income and a lot of them can't afford to go to a gym and they have friends here and it's camaraderie and it's mm. you know it's the same people and so um, I don't want to have to charge for any class and I don't want to have to cancel any and you know the state really wants you to use that money to provide a service for your your seniors mm. so um, fingers crossed we get eleven dollars if we don't then I'm gonna cut the per diem hours and put the rest of it towards exercise and see what we can do to just kind of get a better system in counting out the statistics but other than the um the my senior center which is a scanning card which costs about maybe twelve thousand dollars to set up and then like two thousand dollars a year to maintain that's really you know a dream um but we're excited about air conditioning so i'm not going to push it <laughs> <laughs> If someone was interested in that position oh yes it's um we posted it at the town hall it's on our website and it's going to be on the uh suzanne's town administrative website okay so it's on the websites i'm not going to bother advertising it in the paper because i'm figuring it's a waste of resources we don't really have a large budget so i hate to spend any mm -hmm. penny of it if right, i don't right. have to <coughs> so um i mean i'm going to put on the bulletin board outside also and it's going to be on cable so I'm hoping with those avenues, if there's somebody who, word you know, in mm -hmm. word of mouth. So um, the application deadline is going to be November 1st. The applications can be, um, you can get one at the uh, town administrator's office on the town administrator's website page. Um, you can send a resume to my email. It's all on the job posting. So hopefully there's somebody out there who wants to work with seniors who's very enthusiastic and uh, has a lot of energy. You said the the grant pays for that, correct? The grant that plus pays. the town. Okay. The town coverage is the town portion of it is a couple of thousand dollars a year, which covers my vacation and Sandy's vacation, so that the senior center is not, or if we have to go to a conference together, right. we're um, not closing down the senior center. Right. Right. So, and that's always been configured in the budget. Mm -hmm. It's been configured in there since before I got it, and. Um, the grant covers the maybe four hours a month doing just the statistics. Yep. All right. Um, Sunshine Club news and events. Pam had a meeting in Marlborough and was figured that she would be running late or she wouldn't be able to actually attend. And um, but Marty is here, so. Well, pretty much uh, the events are listed right on the first sheet of the uh, notes from. The the minutes. Last meeting, yeah. the minute from last meeting. And they're all in the yeah. newsletter. Yeah. We have had the Oktoberfest, of course. The ham and bean supper is coming up this Thursday. I think there are still tickets available, eight dollars. Um then the Saturday, uh the November fourth date at So Called Club. Uh, should be a, a really good time mm -hmm. for that. Um, and again it's open to ages eighteen and above. Mm -hmm. This is not a child's. How is the parking quest. up there? Your so called club. Oh, it's good. It's a big I, loss. I don't know. I don't know. Plenty of parking. Plenty of parking. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. And then on November 15th, that's a Wednesday. Uh, that should be the 15th. Do you no, find an hour? Yeah. No, oh. It says November 5th. That should be November 15th. Oh, okay. If it's that. Thank you, Marty. Uh, the dog sled presentation from the woman from the Brookfield area. That should be very interesting. <coughs> different. So hopefully yeah. more men will be attracted to that too. Yep. And yeah, the eagle men. presentation went over very well. Yes, so I think did. this one, yeah. she is going to bring a dog in. Good. And Good. she is going to discuss different mm -hmm. things about that, Pam yeah. said. And we're going to have lunch. You guys yeah. are going to make lunch. So. I I think Pam spoke about maybe that macaroni and cheese yes. which is to die for. But, uh, <coughs> I don't think there's been anything further than those dates and we'll be having our meeting in early November and probably set up more things for the rest of the winter. So, Great. But that's it. If the Sunshine Club is interested in doing another Olympic presentation, my mother did say to extend the offer to bring the torch back. Oh, wonderful. Okay. 
I'll pass that Since along at the next up. meeting. Evidently. <coughs> I don't even know when. I don't know what year we're in anymore. Yeah. So it goes by fast. The Olympics are coming. I'm like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> you say so. <laughs> All right. Other business. Anybody have anything they would like to discuss? Bring up anything? Get anything to add, Janet? No, except for the quilt is not. I don't think it's doing that well. The quilt all is doing very well. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. It's all kind of being mulled together, I think. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And I um I did take some pictures today. I'm going to put out on the bulletin board so that people walking by will see that we have it down here okay. um, to come in. And I'm going to put it on Facebook also. Oh, okay. Yeah, those pictures will be going up tomorrow. Okay. I just wanted to wait for Pam to get done with the, the wreath presentation. Okay, because I never see the money. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it gets collected. I don't know how much um, is collected. Brenda and Pam have been collecting it. Brenda's in here a couple of days a week, so she does all the collections for the tables. Oh, okay. And she has been collecting it, but it is. It's doing well. Okay, I got to meet her two daughters. Yes. Diane's two daughters also, which I hadn't before. Yeah. And one of them put a check in there. Yeah, she did. They're yeah. very excited I about said, it. Gee. It was uh, <laughs> gave us all the yarn. Now she's got to put her name in for the raffle. Yeah. So yeah, I thought that was nice. Yeah, they are delighted. I mean, yes. Diane was a huge part of our senior center, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, I think yeah. it was a nice um, thing for everybody to do because it kind of helped everybody heal along the way. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. making something mm -hmm. in, as a tribute yeah. to her. So yeah. And Diane wanted that air conditioning more than anybody else in this yeah. planet. <laughs> she yeah. sat with a fan oh, over good. in the corner. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Um, they're delighted with that, I'm sure. Good. And on the subject of the donation is the yarn. There was another resident that her mother passed away. Um, who, the daughter donated all the yarn that she was an avid uh, knitter. knitter. Yeah. And um, so what the knitting club did was they made the daughter a lap blanket. Um, it was beautiful, you know, so it was something, and, and the daughter had no idea that they were going to do this, um, Patri Patrice and, um, so, oh my God, Sue, you know, presented it to her and let her know where, yeah, where it came, nice. and Sandy, right, sorry. Um, so it was a, you know, a nice gesture, you know, a very thoughtful group, yeah. and they took the time to... They sat and they did to a continual knit this. <laughs> yeah, it, it was absolutely beautiful, wow. what they did, what they did. A lot of time went into it, you know, very thoughtful. Yeah. Very thoughtful Those things group. mean so much. They do. Well, and the donations that we received, she donated the yarn. She donated lunch first, then a lot of her mother's other things, and then mm -hmm. she donated all of the yarn. And, and she um, she said that her mother got so much joy out of knitting mittens and giving to charity. Mm -hmm. That Aww. that's what our ladies here do too. They do the chemo caps. They do the prayer shawls. Aww. They do the christening blankets, the confirmation. You guys do so much. Um, they did squares that we were going to Spain last year. I mean, there's just so many things yeah. that they do. The Mexican, it was a Mexican, Mexican. project. So good. Right. So um, this group is tremendous at giving back uh -huh. and making so many things for our table out there. Yeah. That's All probably a big seller. I've, okay. I've bought stuff off the table, and, and um, it, it is it's beautiful things. So if anybody's looking for anything for a baby <laughs> or some nice dish towels or... Um, Socks or yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. mittens, hats, and things that are not even knitted yet, yeah. you know. Um, we have our orders in. Then we have them here, and they reasonably price everything, so it's uh, that so nice. I noticed that, yeah. and I thought that was really good. Reasonably, yeah. everything was priced so reasonably. Yeah. 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 We have one one of the ladies from the town hall that comes down and buys a lot of uh, hats and mittens because when the grandchildren over, I mean, let's face it, what mm -hmm. kid is not losing a mitten that you're going to find in March? <laughs> yeah. Or that you're never finding. Right. So for a couple of yeah. dollars to get a pair of mittens. Yeah. And um, Sandy's the last... Sandy's mom and dad, they yeah. come in every time, she, every time they come in, she buys something. Yeah. She and, loves uh, the towels and things like mm -hmm. that. We sent up a box last year to the elementary school for kids that maybe didn't have any mittens. Oh, yes. Or um, just if somebody came to school without mittens, they knitted all those and uh -huh. crocheted those. So. Yeah, they do a lot of a lot of things. Yeah. You guys are busy. Yes. Can't keep up Very with thoughtful. it. Can't keep you. Yes. <laughs> the yeah. supply. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing that. It's really thoughtful. Well, you're welcome. All right. Next meeting date. Um, the third. Well, we're going to stay with Tuesdays, so um, that seems to work for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, the fourteenth. I'm on vacation the first week. Of no um, the thirteenth. I thought was a holiday, but it's not. The actual holiday is on the Friday. Veterans Day. Is okay. it Veterans Day? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you're talking the 14th? Yeah. November 14th? Yeah. All right. Yep. 
Does that work for everybody? Mm -hmm. Six o'clock? The 14th? The 14th, 14th of November. Yeah. Which is still a Tuesday. Still a Tuesday, yes. Is there a lot of people going to the Sokol? Yeah, they're selling tickets pretty at a pretty oh, good, good pace. Yeah. Oh, good. Um, good. So I think it'll be sold out. Yeah, yeah, I anticipate that it will be, and it's a it's a yeah. tremendous show. So mm -hmm. it really is. and it, they're doing it at a, a nice price, you know, and um, a very worthy cause. Did mm -hmm. folks see him when he was here? Yes. I no, did. we didn't see it last time. Oh, and you I better know. go. Yeah, oh, they already have their we, tickets. We bought the first one. Yep, you guys were the first yeah. ticket buyers. Yeah. Yep. And I must have bought the second one. <laughs> 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 All right. We went to New Jersey. With the uh, from Webster, the church and Webster, they had it. It was good. Yeah. Two nights at the resort, and the same day they had the Miss America contest in New Jersey, the boardwalk, and we were watching, kind of, you know, going, getting their feet wet and yeah. walking in the water. It was nice. Aww. One girl says, "Oh, she is all dressed up," and says, "Kentucky on it," you know. I said, oh yeah, and I said, you, you call, oh no, I'm just here, she says, making believe. <laughs> she had a gown on there, I said, oh, but she's beautiful. Yeah. 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 Do we have a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to be adjourned. I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion adjourned. Meeting adjourned. Meeting <laughs> adjourned. <laughs>